Our eyes are sensitive only to a narrow region of the electromagnetic spectrum, which we call visible light. By convention, the hues are grouped into seven colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. If you see red, that means light of the red frequency is reaching your eye. If you see blue, that means light of the blue frequency is reaching your eye. But the eye only has receptors for red, green, and blue. How then are we able to detect other colors, such as yellow and cyan? Well, that's where the brain comes in. When the red and green photoreceptors are stimulated together, the brain averages those signals to create the experience of yellow, which, interestingly enough, lies directly between red and green within the spectrum. Likewise, when the green and blue photoreceptors are stimulated together, the brain averages those signals to create the experience of cyan, which, interestingly enough, lies directly between green and blue within the spectrum. So the brain works with only these three color receptors to detect a rainbow of hues. What about white? It turns out white is not a color. Rather, it's what the brain deduces when all three photoreceptors, red, green, and blue, are stimulated to the same degree at the same time. That's right. White doesn't exist in the physical world. Rather, it's something our brains have made up. It's all in the mind of the beholder. And of course, black is what you get when there is no color frequencies reaching your eye. Black is not a color. Black is the absence of color. Good energy. 